we're here with Mike Wolf, and thank you very much for coming here, Mike. We do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. No, uh, no problem. And we're going to talk about your new catalog that you brought out. And um, there's so many new great items, and there's too many to go through. But we're going to try to hit out some uh, home runs. But uh, let's start scaring, sharing my screen. And uh, thanks, Ray. Appreciate it. And uh, everybody, thank you, Mike. And uh, already a, a question if you were making the GE Evo in B scale. <laughs> well, you know, that's a, that's a big, uh, we've been really thinking about that. Also, the SD70 ACE, we actually have a prototype and all the drawings completed for the SD70 ACE. Now the, the UP just came out with that 1943. It's really tempting. And and uh, obviously, if we did that, the the Jeevo would be right behind it. It was, uh, it's not designed yet, but uh, to do that with the lights, I think would be fantastic. So there's right. very right. serious consideration. We've had it quoted by uh, three different manufacturers already, trying to figure out a way how to get it done. The tooling is just a lot of money, and and uh, but we haven't given up on it. So there, there's still hope. All right. And uh, so, so we're at our website, and we have all your catalogs and MTH. You can also go to MTH's website; they have their catalogs listed. So, even if you don't have a physical catalog, you can still go online, click for the, uh, the scale you're in, and you could go to their uh, catalog. So, Mike, I know you wanted to maybe possibly start off with the spirit of the Union Pacific, probably, because that's the hottest item right now. Yeah, that's that's uh, where everybody's focused on that to you know get that all into production. It, you know, Union Pacific announced just announced that, and we wanted to. Uh, we were at York actually, and uh, Kenny, you were the one who told me that uh, you saw that, <laughs> and sent me an email, and I opened it up and I couldn't believe it. So, uh, the next day we started uh, getting artwork uh, prepared, and and uh, now we're we've got it uh, coming out, and uh, we got it in the schedules for the premiere, the Rail King, and the HO one. So. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a great looking engine. Uh, it's a you know the history on it is pretty cool. And, you know, never knew that, but uh, you know, trains teach us a lot about the uh, history of this country. Yep. And now we're in your catalog online, and you actually have a video posted. Yeah, we have the video posted of the uh, Premier One, uh, a painted Premier One running around, and uh, that'll be probably the first one that you see coming out. Uh, then the Rail King and the HO. Uh, they have Chinese New Year's over there, so we're kind of uh, conflicted by that. But uh, we'll be getting them out as you know, first quarter of uh, next year, all of them. Yep. And uh, now these box cars, no one else is doing these. These are awesome. They're, they're going to match the engine. I mean, very cool. So you could create your own uh, spirit train. <laughs> yeah, we've taken the you know the different branches the way that if you go on to, and I encourage everybody to go on to the Union Pacific website uh, about the little history of this thing. But a B-17 uh, bomber was was named the Spirit of, of 76, and war bonds were so, uh, uh, from the uh, Union Pacific employees were sold, and and uh, you know the money was raised there, and they they named that uh, B-17 after uh, the Union Pacific, the Spirit of the Union Pacific. So. Uh, the front of the locomotive, uh, you know, is is the um, Air Force, and then they got the Coast Guard and the Navy, and then the Marines and the uh, um, uh, Army uh, towards the rear with the camouflage, and then at the back they got the MIA uh, uh, logo. So it's it's pretty cool to have all the cars to go with it. Uh, um, you know, it's it's uh, a, a great reminder of what uh, our men and women uh, did for us and, and to get our freedom. Without a doubt. And uh, you're offering two different versions, the Premier and Rail King. So it's a little something for both both guys, both hobbyists. Um, so that's great to see. And, yeah, that's and, that's uh, right. Uh, the Premier guys and the and the Rail King, we got that engine in both, uh, the you know, the actual prototype for both of those and uh, the HO. HO. Yeah. Right, yep. And that might be the thing that gets a G gauge one. Yeah, that would be good. I yeah. think uh, no one else has done that, and I think that would be huge. And yeah. Hope, hopefully, maybe we could start taking pre-orders tomorrow. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have item numbers yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, that's a great catalog. 
Um, and you guys just threw that together very quickly, but um, you already have a video on it. So make sure you we're taking pre orders now, and I'm sure that's going to be a sellout. Yeah, I, I get the pre orders in because we're fixing the quantities right now on our on our bet. Um, and you know, we're not we don't want to overproduce them, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and fix the quantity so we can get them produced as soon as possible. Obviously, there's competition out there, and and we're gonna uh, hopefully be the first ones out there with it. So the quantities are actually got fixed today and so get your orders in and if you're late you might have to wait for a second run <laughs> all right and uh so let's talk about your o gauge catalog i mean yep. i was in york and i flipped through it but there were so many things i had to come back to turn around and say was that really in there or you know and customers coming in i'm seeing what's hot what's um getting a really large amount of orders there's a lot of good surprises in here. Yeah, it's there's a lot of color in, in you know, uh, to be honest with you, this catalog, I'd say probably 80% of the stuff I picked uh, myself on this catalog. I spent a lot of time uh, this summer just uh, uh, for 2018. So if it fails, it's my fault. Uh, <laughs> if, it's, if it's successful, okay, I, you know, I've, I uh, jumped back into that part of it a little bit. I've been spending a lot of time on the manufacturing side and overseas and, and uh, I wanted to get back into a little bit of the product uh, uh, choosing. I, I, I'm a strong believer in color. I'm a believer in lights. I'm a believer in fun and, and fantasy. And so this catalog has a lot of color in it. Uh, a lot of right. little road names in areas of the country that we really do well in. So you, you'll see that as we flip through it. That's great. And um, so that's the page of the catalog. And then Definitely. if anybody needs a hard copy, you could uh, email us or even Mike. I think you have a book club. Where, um, yeah, if you yeah, send in $5, you get on the mailing list and you'll get the catalogs. The catalogs have been mailed. So if you're on our mailing list, they're on their way to you. Uh, I know I saw in the OGR form, a lot of people are getting them uh, now, uh, just starting to get them. So if you are on the mailing list, uh, they have been mailed and you will be getting it, but this will give you a, a little insight. Uh, we'll show you some photographs of where the ideas came from uh, uh, for the catalog and how the catalog's put together. So let's have some fun. And um, I'm not sure if you wanna spend a little bit on this uh, the Wi-Fi app. Um, the, uh, the DCS app, because we've actually seen a lot of kids using this, and it makes it so much easier to run your trains. Yeah, that's in the pages. Flip the pages uh, there in there where we'll talk about that. But the the Wi-Fi, no question about it. I mean, if you haven't, if I haven't talked to you and seen you at York and or or at an open house, you gotta try this thing. You gotta you find somebody who has one if you're a little hesitant to doing it. I hear a lot of guys saying, no, I'm used to the, rem I'd rather do the remote, I'm not into technology. Well, if you're not into technology, this is the easiest way to run trains. And you know what the real cool thing about it is, you, we always talk about how we're gonna spread the news about this hobby. If you have a uh, one of these Wi-Fi boxes on your layout hooked up to your DCS, Anybody that comes over, grandkids that come over, they all have one of these cell phones. Everybody's got a cell phone. So you can, they can download the free app, take control of a train, and, and, and then it's really cool. And they're leaving the house with a colored yeah. remote. And it's a lot of fun to, to play with uh, between the, the, either the kids, the grandkids, the, the grandfather, uh, everybody gets involved in this. And here's a, you know, a, a picture of the app. Uh, it's it's very simple to set up you, if it works on Android phones or Apple phones. And all you have to do is MTH space DCS, go into the app section. It's amazing. I, I Now I, I'm learning a lot about the technology out there. It's amazing how many people have smartphones and just use them for phones. If you're one of them out there, don't fear. Get your, get your whoever set up the phone for you to help you put the app on the phone go to the app store uh, if it's an Apple or the uh, Play Store if it's Android, download the app and you can you can look at it and, and go through the screens even if you don't have the box yet and see that big speedometer and anywhere you touch it. If you wanna go 30 miles an hour, you touch the 30 and the train's going 30 miles an hour. No more scrolling up 30 clicks to get the 30 miles an hour. So it's very simple. It's, it's a lot faster, it's a lot further distance as far as the from the remote 
to the to the handheld. Now now you can be in the uh, two stories up, and wherever the Wi-Fi is in your house, you can start up the train layout and play with the train. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, I really encourage you to, to to try that out and watch it work. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, someone's someone asking about, about the, the price of the, the DS Wi-Fi. So the list price is one seventy nine ninety nine. And uh, we do have it uh, discounted at trainworld.com. And uh, Mike, you're also going to be a reason for the increase in iPhone sales tomorrow because everybody's saying they have to update their phone now. <laughs> well, you get the phone. But the other thing is, too, and what I've done is uh, uh, gone out and bought an iPad uh, on you can buy one on eBay for $100, a used one. And it's fine. It's somebody who wanted a faster one or one with more memory. So you buy one of those. And so you'll have a $100 3D color remote. It's unbelievable. And and to play with that thing on a, on an iPad, it's it's a lot of fun. And it's so, so intuitive. You hand that to a four-year-old who's playing games on the, on the, the uh, iPad and they pick it up right away and they'll teach you how to do it. Don't worry. Yep, and thanks, Ricky, for uh, picking up uh, Mike's uh, WIU at uh, your house and convincing your club to buy one. Absolutely, and and again, when you got people who are visiting your club, they got a phone, and all you do is say, hey, you want to run one of these trains? Download the free app and do that. The TCA Museum put it up, and we we put one up there and, and assign how to log in on it. And, and they said it's the biggest attraction. People come in, they download it on their phone, and they're running trains. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And um, so we're on page 15 now. Okay. And we're a lot of color right off the bat. Well, you're on and, uh, right now, you're on page 11, but for the Wi Fi. Oh, oh I'm, I, I flipped through uh, 15. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't see it? No, it's still up on. Uh, I'm seeing. There's a little bit of lag. What's everybody seeing out there? So we'll flip to uh, I guess 14 and 15. There it is. And there it is. Okay. 14, 15. Now on that page, you're going to notice the you know the the uh, feature, and we call it the nifty shot. And that nifty shot is the one you know the the engine that's uh, is coming at you. Uh, the other one's called profile shots, and and the nifty shot is the Reading Northern. That's usually the most popular, or it's one we have a sample of. Um, but the the uh, Reading Northern is an engine that they're restoring. Um, uh, right now and it's very popular and and we do listen to what people ask us to put in the catalog because I was at York and the, the Reading and Northern, the group of guys who are actually restoring it came up to me and asked me, will you make the Reading and Northern? I said, well, I don't have the exact tooling for the Pacific that you have, and but we'll do it if that's okay with you guys. And they said, that'd be great. And so we did it in Premier and it was a tremendous success. And we actually in Premier, you can get it They've, they've repainted it, so we got it in the, as it was uh, restored, and then they repainted it in different colors, and we got it in both color schemes. In Rail King, we have it in this uh, one color scheme, and we'll put it in the, the other color scheme later. Um, uh, but uh, now you'll see a lot of colors there. The Milwaukee Road is a very colorful yeah. one, the Chicago Alton, and you can buy matching cars, as you can see on page 65. Uh, so there a lot of color there. Western Maryland's a very popular, and the U.S. Army has been very popular. Uh, where you'll yeah, see yeah. in the back with the cars, we're, we're uh, I just uh, actually I'm flying to France tomorrow. I'm meeting with Salito, who has done a lot of one forty uh, eighth, one uh, fiftieth uh, military. Uh, uh, World War II uh, engines. There you go. There's the the Reading and Northern. Now we what we do is you go through and you look for different ideas of ones to, uh, uh, prototypes that you want to copy. So that's a picture that was put in our our file, and then our marketing guys take that, and the artwork guys take that, and then they'll do other. That, that's like the base shot, and then we'll go and find other shots of it, and then do the artwork based on that photo. So that's that's something I sent Kenny up that from our archives for uh, that that we start with to develop this catalog. Yeah, this is an inside speak, uh, I guess, inside view of it. Mike just sent it, me the file. This is what he looks at. Um, so it's kind of like an inside view of what Mike goes and does and how he creates these streams. So pretty cool, Mike. Yeah. 
All right. So uh, there's a little bit of delay on my side, but we just flip through to uh, the next page. And we got the crescent. Uh, right, again, limited. color, more color. Uh, we got uh, the southern crescents, and those are the same uh, Pacific. So the three different crescent ones, we, we uh, PS4s, we have those in there also. So we threw those in while we're making the Pacifics. Again, pushing color. Yep, very nice. Um, on to the Berkshires. And I noticed now you have a North Pole Berkshire. And uh, it's Christmas time, so if you guys haven't spotted that out, um, it's, it's there. <laughs> right. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, you know, we, we I think we bring a, a, a quality engine for your, uh, anybody has those Polar Express cars out there. We're making uh, North Pole cars. Uh, uh, following that color scheme, you can get uh, buildings with lights on it, uh, LED lights following yeah, that yeah. color scheme. So. Uh, you can expand on it, you know, uh, model railroading, the fun part about it is expanding and making a whole layout, a theme layout, and that uh, continues that theme. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, we'll flip over to the 46010 wheeler. And I'm not sure, Mike, if uh, you caught up on the screen yet. Yeah, but I have the catalog itself here, so I can see okay, that. But perfect. Again, you'll, you'll see a lot of color there. Uh, you know, the, the blues, the reds, there's just a lot of different, we, we picked railroads that are popular, uh, areas of the country that are popular, but also a lot of color. And, and then you can get the, the uh, passenger cars on page 64, which we'll get to the Overton cars. Uh, so again, uh, down there at the bottom, the Ohio River, Ohio is a big area for us. Baltimore, Ohio is always popular. Jersey, yep, Pennsylvania, yep. Santa Fe. So when we're going through these two, we'll do an engine like this and we'll look at East Coast, West Coast, the, the center of the country and try to get something for everybody. So there's, uh, if you're theming your layout uh, uh, for your area, you have something. That's great. And, uh, over to that EMD SW 1200s and right. again, a lot of color. <laughs> yep, at the very top, you'll notice, and again, started by a customer, actually a dealer up in uh, Ohio coming to me and saying he wanted more, uh, more, uh, 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 Ohio equipment, and and uh, he gave me uh, all the the books and uh, the the photographs, and and when you give me all the research, it makes my job easier. So uh, I think you have a photo there of that uh, actual uh, SW1200 that I sent you, um, yep. which is at the top, and you also see that the the Philadelphia, Bethlehem, New England, that's a Another area, Philadelphia is a big area for, for trains in Pennsylvania, and West Virginia is a big area. So you'll see there's there's a lot of color, and we picked out uh, colorful engines for those areas that are, are popular. But uh, um, there you go, up to second yep. photo. There you yeah, go. That's the Akron uh, right. Barberton uh, belt. Right. And it's just a, it's a beautiful engine. I mean, there's a lot of you know, uh, neat colors and, and uh, again, yeah. Ohio's, uh, uh, Akron, Ohio, there's a lot of train collectors up there. So that's something for them that they'll, they'll, they won't believe that I'll get people coming up to me telling me, I, I can't believe you. Why'd you pick something like that? And, right. and they're right. so happy about it. And it's because of that. So give us that feedback and, and look for color, you know, just a, a, a brown engine. It doesn't sell very well. Something like that, because of the colors, it's going to sell well. Yeah, that's great to hear. And uh, let's flip to the next page. And we got the SW9s again, again another uh, small switcher. Again, look at the colors. You'll see the red, yeah. white, and blue, the, the, the Shamit line. Uh, that's yeah. uh, the Betsy Ross. Obviously, that's uh, uh, going to be popular They're in the red, white, and blue scheme. Yeah. The Pittsburgh Summit, that, uh, Pittsburgh is probably the, the number one uh, train area. We know you, MTH is focused on that area a lot. Uh, uh, so we have that uh, the main central. I mean, we got there's a main group of uh, 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 group of uh, collectors up there that buy a lot of stuff. So you know, it sounds odd to somebody uh, in Pennsylvania, but uh, we do well there. Yep, yep. And the, uh, the Shawmut line, I, I think everybody's going patriotic now and, and absolutely and right, right, blues, and I think that's really going to be the home run piece on that. But yeah. uh, all, all new, uh, different, unique uh, lines, so I think they'll all do very well. Yep. Now you put color on the layout. You know, those are the things that usually stand out. People will notice them. Yep. 
And uh, this is my favorite page, uh, MD SD70 Ace, but you're doing the MD Demonstrator, and those colors are just really attractive, really nice. Yeah. And, uh, and that's a you, that's a tier four, you know, the new uh, the newest one that uh, AMD has come out with the tier four emission standard, you know, the 1501. Uh, so that's going to wow. be the popular one. It's very colorful. Uh, yeah. It's the newest thing out there on the line. So if you you uh, model uh, modern stuff. You got to have that one, and then you got the uh, the one with the caterpillar demo scheme and the yep. uh, the other demo scheme, which also was converted into a CNN. Uh, we have that there, and and uh, we're bringing back uh, a couple of the Union Pacifics in each catalog that uh, have sold out. And you know, the nice thing we have that product locator on our our website, and it tells us how many people or dealers actually have products out there. So we look for products that they don't have and and people are calling for so you'll see those things rerun every once in a while yeah and some of these have been done in premiere but these in rail thing should be a home run because the george bush the blue caterpillar the yellow caterpillar they were all great sellers for us so. yeah and you know 80 percent of the layouts out there are you know 031 so and uh, because of the room out there so there's a bigger market out there actually for the rail king than the premier stuff Yep, and uh, politics aside, the George Bush train keeps on selling out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, gl glad to see it's back in. Um, and then FMs, a classic. So yeah, uh, classic FM train masters with the metal handrails, just the way they were built back in the fifties with Lionel. Uh, so they're always popular. Bring those. We brought those back. Uh, um, so that you know, that's more of a staple, like the F3s and Santa Fe F3s. Uh, uh, FM train masters is the GG ones are a, a staple product for us. Very nice, very nice. And um, onto the E3s, and these are in Rail King, which is awesome because the guys with the smaller layouts can fit. Uh, right. some of these bigger engines on. Yeah, everything in Rail King is going to go around 031 track. So if you have 031 uh, track, it's going to run on it. Uh, so anything higher than that's obviously no problem. So uh, uh, there's, a, like I say, a lot of layout, and most layouts out there have 031. And, and again, you'll see these E3s, very colorful. Uh, you know, the Kansas City Southern, that's a very colorful, a beautiful one. The Atlantic Coastline is always popular, uh, the purple. Uh, Union Pacific, you know, it's it's one of the big ones, uh, and even the Rock Island we have in the Midwest is it, it's popular. Yeah, yeah. Florida East Coast, another one. I have to keep back in that Florida East Coast because I'm a Florida resident now. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. And on to the RSD fives. Um, we got Western Maryland, your home, 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 second home. I guess. Second home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Plate well, Western Maryland is always popular. You know, it's it, it's not the most colorful, but it is it is very popular. So you, you, you'll always see that sprinkled in there. Um, very nice. And uh, some classics, Penn Central, CMJ. Uh, nickel plate, uh, nickel plate's always popular. Yep, very nice. And, and then the next page. FA2s. Yeah, FA2s, the Long Island. Now that's, you know, that's made for train yep. work. So That's it. <laughs> yep. Anything Long Island, we yep. sell a ton of. <laughs> you can see the Train World logos behind you, you know, blue and red. That's all <laughs> the Long Island. If you go, have ever been to Train World, you just look out the, or Train Land, you look out the window and there they go, right, right by. That's so. it. That's it. Take the Long Island Railroad and um, we're, we're there. And uh, again, these are rail kinks, so you get to uh, squeeze them on your layout and um at, at an affordable price point. Yeah, and the, the Lehigh Valley, another colorful one. That's very, you know, always been yep. great northern. You know, like I say, we we try to sprinkle in the the west coast. You'll see a few west coast, the the northeast, uh, uh, Pennsylvania area, all, always popular. So a little bit something for everybody. Yep, very nice. And on to these uh, Brill semi convertible trolleys, very uh, classic. Yeah, and very colorful. Again, you yep. know, we found one, and and also uh, uh, areas that the Trenton, Bristol, Philadelphia, again, Jersey Central, uh, the the Reading, Pennsylvania area, uh, uh, so Camden, uh, and Christmas. And, yeah, and Christmas. So something for everybody, and a lot of color. You know, those yep. things are, are always popular. 
And the good thing about Mike's website on his catalogs, you could uh, hover over the picture, click on it, and it will take you to that exact product item. So if you want to learn a little more information, if you want to see the picture a little larger, it goes directly to his website. Um, and again, if you just want to copy over the item number and uh, plug it into our website, we're taking back orders on all these great items. All right, RDC Bud Cars, and you actually uh, gave, gave us a picture of this as well. Yeah, the Redding and Northern, once again, you know, Redding and Northern seems like the big popular uh, uh, road name uh, because of those steam engines and being, being done, and a lot of, lot of uh, Redding fans up there got stirred the interest, so we, uh, you know, the Redding and Northern, we never made that with the Blue Mountain, with the blue trucks, it's uh, uh, it's it's a, a really colorful bud car, so when I saw that and, and realized we never made it, that, that had to be uh, put in a catalog. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty with that stripe, and uh, yeah. now they need more freight cars, Mike. They, yeah. they, they're shouting for more freight cars. <laughs> well, we're getting to those freight car pages. There's more, but yeah, that, <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that good looking with the with the blue trucks? Never, I, I'm I'm surprised nobody's ever done that one. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty. Actually, it, I I just realized the blue trucks. Very yeah. nice, cool. Yeah. And and that will be like that once it's manufactured. Absolutely. Wow. And that's why it was put in the catalog, because of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes it could be a mistake, <laughs> but that's good to know. All right, and uh, on to subways. We yeah. sell a ton of subways, and Chicago. You haven't done Chicago in a while, so uh, this is nice to see, and uh, they should do very well. Yeah, the, we've been getting a lot of calls. We've been doing a lot of the New York ones again, and the Chicago guys have felt a little slighted. And so we got the, the red, white, and blue scheme, and we have the, the green uh, screen, uh, scheme. So uh, they're going to be popular. Yeah, I'm not going to say it's the second city, <laughs> but, but I'll, I'll say yeah, Chicago is still very popular, and it's a beautiful city. I have been there. And, um, but it's great to see, this is a perfect classic example of some nice uh, older subways and just really looks cool. This green yeah. is gonna be a run for sure. Yeah. And, um, all right, and our favorite, the New York R62. Um, yeah. It's definitely more modern and a lot of the guys were calling for more modern subways. That's correct. Uh, uh, we've heard, we heard the same thing, so that's why they're there and, um, so they're going to be popular. Yep, very nice. And uh, we we get subway guys coming in all the time, Mike. Uh, people who work for the train transit um, come in and they just want to buy what they ride and or see on the rails. And it's great to see something um, more modern. And the and the station stops. You know, these things have the uh, station stops that you can set up. And so every time you stop it, it. it it, it names the uh, stop and, and what the next stop is. And we actually get guys in, uh, coming down from New York with the New York heavy accents, doing the uh, <laughs> doing the, the uh, station announcements. So they, they really sound authentic. So they're they're neat to listen to. So if it- You don't it, have any accents. Yeah, right. Uh, so the number seven, what the number seven, this one happens to be, you, you'll, you'll, you will get the stops, the actual stops that the number seven goes on. So- um, you know, and same with the HO. We have in the HO, it's a little bit more. Uh, we have northbound, southbound uh, stops that you can uh, uh, get sets with northbounds, and then another four cars with southbound, so you could, uh, uh, you know, go both ways and use the the uh, uh, the sounds of the actual stop. So it's it's pretty cool. Yep, very nice. And uh, some of your new Rail King uh, freight cars. It's amazing because. It, I send out emails, but I need to just send out the whole catalog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like even all these four boxcars are going to be all home runs. I mean, you got the CSX with the American flag, UP with the American flag. They always do run sellers. Uh, the GE hybrid, everybody wants to keep on adding on with their engines. And Long right. Island. Yeah. Well, again, the Long Island's made for Kenny, so you know, yeah. support him so he can keep getting more product. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. And uh, 50 uh, double-door plug boxcars. You got Santa Fe, 
Um, Florida East Coast, Nickel Plate Road, Wabash, great mix on that. And yeah. uh, there's usually engines in the front that, to run with them, so no. uh, those go along with those. And these fire cars are interesting. I'm I'm not sure if I recall seeing them in previous catalogs. No, this is the first time we're we're going to you know cities and doing the fire cars for the cities. You know that we we did those uh, 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 the rescue uh, engines, yep. and so these would be great behind the rescue engines. A lot of a lot of guys we've we've heard from and customers write in that the first they got into model railroads because of the uh, either the veterans or the uh, the rescue. No fucking southern schemed engines, and and they're they're firemen, and they're in in a city. So you know, it uh, to to uh, honor those guys, we're gonna uh, do a series of cars for different cities, and and uh, uh, that you can pull behind those engines. Yeah, and we definitely have a lot of first responders, uh, firefighters, cops. So that's great to see you guys really honoring um, the volunteers uh, out there, really risk their lives. So absolutely. Um, nice. Uh, 19th century reapers and some modern reapers, a lot of different colors, little uh, different paint schemes. Yeah, you'll you'll notice that you know, if you go back into the previous catalogs, he's got a lot more color. Um, I think, like again, his colors stand out. Uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon beers or the beer cars are always popular. Um, you know, uh, Old Mother's cocoa. You know, you get in the cold winter uh, with a car that that car just goes along with it. Uh, Curve beer. Uh, the horseshoe curve that means a lot to me because oh, my okay. grandfather lived right at the bottom of her horseshoe curve so in Altoona that's where my parents grew up and and so that's a that's a that means a lot to me that car there so uh, you know those beer labels those are actual labels off of beer bottles we take we you can go on to these websites and buy <laughs> old beer labels and and so we buy the labels and got the artwork from there and that the uh, Riverside Brewery and that's a California uh, brewery uh, so that's an actual beer label there, that uh, number 9119 Ale with the steam engine on it. So, um, you know, all those, all yeah, those yeah. Uh, uh, are, you know, the, the artwork has come from somewhere that's uh, real. And it's funny because the Hershey Curve car or beer, beer car would be something that I totally missed and not even realized just passing through. And, you know, it, anything Horseshoe Curve huge for trains so sure uh, the pennsylvania it. railroad that's it the horseshoe curve that's uh you know people we, we as as kids we used to go up to the, there and watch those trains come around there that was that's unbelievable yeah still to today <laughs> and uh now we're going to some modern tank cars and just some really nice colors um the Katy and um, western pacific rio grande southern pacific most people have those engines right so and, and those yeah, those SD70s and those cars will go behind them. That's perfect and really nice colors, uh, beautiful paint schemes. And then you got some uh, more modern tank cars, the chrome blade plated box bodies, um, really nice. With the with the uh, fuel companies on them, the Shell, the Sunoco, SO, Mobile, and all chrome plated, the cars. Yep. Does not come with gas. Or no. <laughs> Put your own in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And some more tank cars, 33,000 yeah. gallon tank cars. Again, more modern uh, tank cars and uh, uh, gas company cars. Gas is very popular now in the Ohio, Pennsylvania area. These, you know, everybody's getting a natural gas. It's a boom up there. It's an industry. Uh, so these cars should be on your layout. There's a. Uh, um, you know, to, to, if you have a modern type layout, you're going to see gas cars out there. This GE oil and gas is pretty nice. Very yeah. Nice. Valero, big popular names. Yeah. Then uh, to your your hoppers. Yeah, the hoppers. Those have always been popular. You know, it's a, it's the history of the of that railroad and oh. and the different cities that they stop in the maps that they that they ran their routes on. And so, you know, you want a little history on it and, and you get that for your uh, grandson and you show them that car uh, uh, or your son. Those are, you know, the Conrail or the, the AC and uh, Y, Akron, Canton, Youngstown. Uh, those are the stops. So if you're up in Ohio, you can say, yeah, this is where the railroad went through. And, and we've done a lot of those and they're very popular, uh, very educational cars. 
uh, and uh, so you can you can go back on our website to pick up the older ones, uh, but you can get a whole series of those of all the different railroads and where they stop. Yep. And um, you got some flat cars with trailers, flat cars with vehicle loads. I mean, the uh, those cars look amazing, Mike. Yeah, the, the, those flat cars again. You know, other than the nickel plate is the is the uh, railroadish kind of one, and like I say, nickel plate is always very popular. But the old navy beer, I like that one. That big nose, uh, red ale, you got to like that one. Roadway, <laughs> see those those trailers on trains all the time uh, going yeah. by with the TTX flat. So, um, you know, uh, there's something, uh, and again, a lot of color. Yep, and the these uh, the vehicles, the uh, Firebirds and uh, Mustangs, very nice cars. Yeah, you're yeah, not getting a cheap car. <laughs> right. Diecast cars. Yep. Yep. They're they're always popular. And we got some uh, log load cars. Yep, and, the old uh, 19th century's log cars. So those 19th century engines up in the front, uh, those will go uh, great with them for a, you know, a logging railroad. Logging. Yep. And uh, some more fl uh, auto carriers. Yep, and Flat and we cars. got American Muscle Car Transport. Uh, we did a little logo there, uh, made up a logo, uh, so you'll see more of that. Uh, uh, so with different cars on them, uh, muscle cars. Nice. And uh, flat cars with bulkheads and pipe load. Yeah, and, and what you'll notice there is the different color pipes. I mean, we have made those cars for years with silver pipes. They've always been silver pipes. And now huh. you see the yellow pipes and the green pipes. And, and you know, there's a, if you, if you Google pipes, you know, we've just always, like I say, done silver pipes. But if you, there's a, a standard for different color pipes, green pipes is uh, water, sewer, yellow pipes you're going to get gas and oil and uh, uh red pipes you're going to you'll see some red pipes later uh with uh electric in them so you know the flat cars didn't always have silver pipes so now we're changing yeah. those so you can you can break it up with the with the gas industry you're doing a lot more research now and finding out the uh, you know the uh keystone pipeline pipes got to get got to get taken somewhere it's got to get built <laughs> Um, and then we got the slag car. Right, slag cars with U.S. steel. Uh, and they turn around. Steel. Yeah, absolutely. They, they rotate uh, Republic steel up in Ohio. That's very popular up there. Uh, so some of the, the uh, popular steel companies. All right. And uh, it's already been a half hour, and we're not even halfway through the catalog. You're making a lot of fun, Mike. <laughs> And uh, this is one of my favorites with the freight cars, the flat car with Sherman tank. Absolutely, that's a that's a one of those tools from Salido. Uh, it's all die cast. Those uh, the track the tread is actual uh, steel. Uh, you know that's not plastic, all uh, wow. uh, metal. Um, so that's a it's a really neat tank. You know Sherman tank, most popular tank in World War II. Uh, so you see that in Rail King and Premier. One on the uh, Rail King and two on the Premiers. Very nice, and uh, also the more stack cars over here. Yep, they're always popular. One of the most popular cars we make. Uh, that you see them all the time on the real railroads, so you got to have those. Yep, very nice. And uh, four bay hoppers. Again, get the, the, the steel companies. Uh, look, this comp you know, we're rebuilding America and have all that infrastructure, so we're trying to get ahead of that. You know, the all the steel companies going to be a big part of that. So there's the uh, Alcoa eight. Uh, AK Steel, Republic Steel, again, up in Ohio, U.S. Steel in Pittsburgh. Uh, right, so you know, got to have those. Mm -hmm. And then you got mm -hmm. the offset cabooses. The, again, that Akron uh, Barberton belt, there's the caboose to go with that engine. So, uh, and that's a, a, a real paint scheme there. Yeah, it's pretty different, and not, not many people make these small uh, road names, so we're definitely doing uh, a good service for the whole train and make these uh, minor companies. Yep. All right, over to passenger companies. Um, a lot of different colors. <laughs> yeah, a lot of different colors, and you know, you'll follow those engines. The on the engines that will refer to which set goes with those cars. So. You know, we referred to them before when we were looking at those old-time steam engines with the Overton cars and Madison cars. So they pretty much speak for themselves. They, again, the colors that follow along with the engines that are 
uh, in the front. So you can jump over to page uh, 68. I don't know if you, yep. and you'll see a couple specialty cars, the Union Pacific yep. with the uh, flag and the Norfolk Southern uh, a baggage car. Uh, so a couple of specialty cars there to go with uh, uh, engines that you have. Yeah, and this, this baggage car, you could pull it behind the big boy, um, different specific units. And um, Mike also did come out with that uh, special GE uh, hybrid version. Correct. On it. Right. So we'll do more of those those baggage cars and that uh, go with specific engines. But those are two of them. You'll see those starting to be inserted in the catalog. And again, a lot of color. And uh, you actually skipped over something, Mike, the, uh, the North Pole passenger cars and really uh, cool paint scheme and uh, it goes perfect for Christmas time. Right. Those are, uh, again, go with that, that Berkshire. The Berkshire was the uh, Polar Express. Those cars, uh, you know, the, it, it, with the same kind of colors, North Pole. Um, so if you want a, a high quality uh, North Pole set, there it is. Yep. Yep. Very nice. All right, and we're halfway through. I feel like we should take an intermission. <laughs> but uh, so Premier Line. So for the people out there who don't know, uh, Mike has two different lines. Rail Team is more for uh, smaller, uh, tighter, tighter radius. A little right, less 031. Tail, yep. Right. Okay. And right. the Premier Line, which is for your hardcore collector, um, really intricate and detail all the bells and whistles and it's going to be to scale yeah. correct and it's the 148 scale and then you'll see the uh, steam engines that some of the, the later steam engines that we had made uh you'll see when it says uh uh three two that there's a switch on the bottom you can switch it to for two rail you can run on two rail track or three rail just flip the switch and take off the pickup rollers and you can run it on two rail or put the pickup rollers on flip the switch to three rail so it wow, describes wow. that that's pretty easy. Um, all right, so we got some big boys. Yep, the big boys. That's our, our museum series. Uh, all of the uh, uh, there's your anatomy. Um, then the big boys, which is what we call the the preservation series. So the the ones that have been preserved and the different uh, uh, places they were. You'll see underneath the, the in Denver and Cheyenne, St. Louis, Scranton, and Green Bay. Um, and then the, the 4014, which is uh, being restored, yeah. uh, yeah. which is the oil version. You notice the tender is different. That's the oil version. All the other ones are coal versions. They're all in stock right now. So uh, they have a smoking whistle, uh, playable whistle that you can play with your uh, DCS system. It's really neat to play with it on the app. You can grab the whistle uh, handle and, and the cord and, and pull it up and down and play it. It's it's uh, it's one of the real neat things about the app. It's uh, uh, a lot more realistic than the uh, the handheld playing with it that way. So you got uh, the, those uh, engines with the with the smoke and whistle and the, in, and as you uh, play it um, with the more intensity, the more smoke comes out of that whistle. Yeah, and if you really want a present uh, for your wife to get you, make sure you write down these numbers. <laughs> Hopefully she'll get it for you and you'll be uh, very, very happy. <laughs> well, you know, have you ever been to any of these museums and seen the one, you know, the one that you've been to? So if you, for instance, been to Denver, you can get the 405 and I, you know, I saw this engine and, and uh, you know, put my hand on it and there it is. You can, you can have that one or so that's what we came up with the preservation series. Very nice. And uh, on to my favorite. The GS4 or a Ford Northern uh, Daylight with the Lights. And um, Mike has made an exclusive number, only 150 pieces out there. And uh, we've taken so many pre orders for it, and we're getting close. So if you haven't pre ordered it, make sure you get your pre order in. Yeah, again, lights sell, and, and, and we didn't just take any engine and stick the lights on it. As you can see, on the page on the the uh, right hand side, uh, that's a picture of the real one. They they uh, decorate that thing up at uh, Christmas time and they uh, the the Christmas Express and they they also put it on the passenger cars. There's a link to the YouTube video uh, listed there so that you can go to if you 
you know, uh, you you uh, Google Christmas Express GS4, you'll be able to see the the video of it coming through towns. Uh, so it's 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 prototypical. We put it in the Southern Pacific's lines because that's the way it's painted there in the in the photo um, and running. And uh, there's a lot of lights on there. It's 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 uh, it's actually really beautiful. It comes with a wooden display base that you can with two wires coming off of it. So if you want to keep it on your desk or your mantle at Christmas time and hook up wires to it and start it up with your app as it sits on the mantle and get the smoke running and chugging, chugging uh, that, that, that that engine can do that. Just just open the box and you're ready to go. Yeah, and uh, we're hoping it's going to be in time for Christmas, but um, regardless, it's going to be a real head turner, and you can get the matching cars. That's correct. You'll see those on it a, a couple pages later. All right, the Triplex, beautiful engine. This was always one of my favorite engines. Um, got Erie in with that uh, like Russian blue. blue. Russian blue, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's always popular. You know, the history of that engine is is uh, really magnificent. How how powerful that thing was more powerful than the big boy as far as pulling power. They had to really stop running the thing because it was bending up the rails because it's so much uh, uh, attractive effort. So it's a cool engine. It smokes from the back tender that that stack in the back smokes and the front uh, stack smokes. So there's smoke unit in both the tender and the engine. And the uh, NW Class A two six six four. Right, and you also notice that there's videos throughout the catalog. You'll see yep. a link there, and uh, on the Triplex, you can click on that and watch the video of the engine. So throughout the catalog, when you see those video links, you can actually click on them and and watch the video with the interactive catalog. And I, I'm a big believer in these videos where people now, sometimes they don't have a local hobby shop or someplace they could see it. So uh, make sure you click on these videos throughout the catalog. And also Mike has his own YouTube channel. I have my own YouTube channel. So, so that you could always go there for um, MTH videos. And uh, some 462 Pacifics in Premier. Again, yeah. beautiful color. Right. Again, a lot of colors. You got the same kind of is in the Rail King. You got the Crescents, uh, the Southern Crescents uh, PS4s. We got those two. And then uh, the 460 G5s. Right. Um, got the Long Island. Special. Special. Yep. Right. Very nice. And Pensy, beautiful looking engine. Great passenger engine. Pennsylvania Madison cars look beautiful behind that. That's what they ran with. Uh, cab forward. Right, beautiful, cab forward. Beautiful another, engine. Right, another popular engine. Uh, again, a uh, video we have up online of that engine, the history of that engine. Uh, you know, the reason, obviously, for the, the uh, cab in the front so the smoke wouldn't get into the uh, engineer's face. So, you know, another uh, American uh, engineering feat. Yep. And so, sorry, guys, for the everyone who's asking, will Mike make this? Will Mike make that? It's kind of hard to answer all the questions, and uh, we're on a limited time. So we're trying to get through this uh, catalog as we can. Um, all right, EMD GP9. Uh, this United States tr Army transportation very well. Um, looks new and unique. Right, something different. It was a real engine. Um, Again, red, very, very colorful. All the army stuff, all the different, uh, uh, the, the the flats with the uh, tanks and the uh, equipment out there. And there will be more equipment. That's one of the the visits I'm going to make when I go over to uh, France to find out all the different tooling that they have. A new company bought the uh, Salido, and so uh, we're we're uh, looking to find out what other kind of equipment we can make. So you see a lot more of the older stuff that they made in the past. What what Salido, Mike? It's a it's a French company that made uh, a lot of U.S. military and other military, but a lot of U.S. 148th, uh, 150th uh, military uh, gotcha. die cast equipment, uh, howitzer uh, cannons. Uh, I mean, some really cool stuff, toys back then that uh, uh, right in our scale that uh, we, you know we'll be able to make a lot of really cool army trains. Very nice. Very nice. And again, you see this real shot of the United States right. Army. That's a beautiful Army. engine. Yep, very nice. All right. 
Uh, U thirty Cs, a lot yep. of different uh, colors, a lot of different yep. engines. Department of Transportation up there. Uh, again, that's something that that hasn't been made. Uh, got that one. The the Union Pacific chassis system. That's always popular. Again, a lot of color there. Yep. And uh, dash eight forty VWs. Right, and then we never made them with the four wheel trucks. The first time is new tooling for uh, <laughs> uh, fuel tank. Uh, uh, taking the four wheel trucks, putting it on. We've made them with six wheel trucks before, but in in uh, we've have them in Rail King scale with the four wheel trucks, but never the premier one. So this is the first time you've seen those. And and the Amtrak that we actually was the first. O gauge engine, uh, diesel engine that we made. It actually first O gauge engine back when I got into uh, my own line of O gauge. We were building for Line Elm. This is the first thing I built was this Amtrak uh, Dash 8 and the Rail, which is now Rail King scale. So now this is the first time in Premier. And that's a beautiful scheme that was really popular back then. Also, the Santa Fe, again, that war bonnet's always popular. The Amtrak's very popular, as you see. It's in the, in the nifty shot that's today is uh, something that you'll see out there all the time. So these, I, I believe, are going to be really good. Very nice, very nice. And finally, Willie, uh, online, he's asking about the AEM-7. So he, he's been patiently waiting, Mike. <laughs> okay, well, there it is, and it's and we're doing all the bodies in, in uh, stainless plating. And, you know, to, to do these bodies, uh, the, the uh, when we do this plating on it, they got to be very careful. You saw a little of our molding uh, when I was over in China, if anybody's yep. seen the video of that. Uh, but they got to be very careful with those bodies because any scratch is going to show on the, uh, the when you plate it, it's going to stand out, you know, like a sore thumb. So uh, the bodies have got to be uh, finished. And then before they're painted, the lightly sanded and any spots that have any nicks or scratches or anything, uh, the tools got to be polished beforehand. Uh, so that it can any imperfections or flow lines are taken out of it. So uh, whenever we do something that we're going to stainless uh, finish or chrome plate like those tank cars, the tool's got to be polished, and that's hand polished with ruse. And the guy's got to sit there for hours and polish those tools to 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 get it to do that. But that's the way the AM sevens are, and that's the way we're going to make them. Very nice. And this looks something different, Mark. Um, I, I'm not sure if you did this one before. I think we have. That's in Maryland, okay. uh, uh, but uh, it's very popular. Yeah. In, in, down in Baltimore, you'll see it, you know, uh, running through so, uh, over, uh, you know, close to our offices. The the uh, commuter lines that go between uh, Baltimore, Washington. You'll see the Mark trains. Cool, cool, very nice. And Amtrak are always a very popular seller. Always, yeah. Will, Willie. Uh, Melendez, I expect you to pre-order this. <laughs> yeah, it's it's and then the detail on the roof. There's so much detail that that engine has has a lot. It's a it's a neat engine. Yep, and um, the GS uh, GE ES44 DC. Um, yep, they're all always popular. Uh, none there with the charging lights, but very popular engine. Yep, you got all your uh, favorites: NS City Rail, uh, Santa Fe. Max, uh, CN, CSX. Yeah. And on to the, the, the newest mold that you, you've made, I think, last year, um, the 44 tonners. And you right. got some really cool, unique paint schemes. Yeah, we got the the Army, the uh, the Air Force, the, uh, the Marines, and also uh, Stroudsburg. So all you York goers that go up to the Stroudsburg uh, Railroad Museum, uh, the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum in Stroudsburg, or ride the trains up there, or the TCA Museum. Well, there you go. There's the Stroudsburg uh, 44 tonner. So that's, uh, I think you have a picture of that one. Yeah. Uh, that will be really popular. And actually, I think the most popular of all of those, uh, even those those first four at the top are very popular, is the uh, uh, New York and Ontario. Um, there's there's a group of guys that are just diehard for the every every one of those and yeah, there's the Strasbourg one, uh, yep. so and yeah some... that's actually u unique when when you say think of New York Ontario I think of the, uh, the gray and yellow uh, paint scheme um, but th this is definitely unique yeah and there's different cab numbers and and these guys are collecting every one so uh, cool. that's one of the most popular 44 tonners and so we have that in there. Uh, yeah, and it's 
it's great that it's a premier engine and you could buy 10 of them, not have a problem running them. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're everywhere. And all the sidings, pushing and pulling cars. I mean, there's there's so many different ones. I think it's the most, uh, as far as the, the number of uh, railroads on anything, it's that. And we got that coupler tucked in there really nice. That was really important. So, uh, you know, that was a big, uh, you know, engineering challenge to get the motors and, and have that coupler not protrude out so far um so we're, we're really happy with it it's really popular that engine very nice all and done we we got some uh, smaller switchers the alco s2 right again um, uh, uh akron canton and youngstown you'll see down there that's another one i'm a you know ohio is a big state for us as far as uh, uh sales up there so this time, this catalog, the Ohio guys have got to like us. You know, B and O, uh, uh, Akron Barberton. So there's a lot of stuff for those guys. Uh, don't miss out. It's not going to be in every catalog like this. Uh, U.S. Army again to pull all those Army things. Uh, there's a, a a great road switcher for that. Um, the uh, ADM, something you'd see, uh, you know, out there in there. Yeah, that's the cool. Yeah. And and again, these are some smaller lines, but I I think people are just going to gobble them up because not a lot of people run them quite often or make them. Yeah, and you know something different. It is his history. You know, there's something to to, to uh, talk about when people come over and see your railroad. All right, the uh, the GE box cab. Yeah, the. Uh, English and Rand, uh, we got the demo one, which is a, again, red, white, and blue, the white body. Um, there's the uh, ADM, uh, I see you popped that up on the screen there, but uh, I might be a little behind, but yeah, the uh, English and Rand, they're all die cast bodies, Chicago Northwestern, again, but when we made them before, they were all you know dark green, black. Uh, this one has uh, ones with different colors on the pages. Long Island, we got a Long Island one that's, again, there's it. One, another one in there for Train World. You know what, Mike? I I actually passed by that when I was doing the hot list email. <laughs> well, that's okay. Rich will be giving you a call on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I gotta throw it on the email. Uh, Harlem Transfer Co. Is that the that's Harlem right? Of that's New York? right. Really? That's Get New it. York. That's it. That's funny. See, we're learning here something new every day. That's right. There were even trains in Harlem. <laughs> wow. wow. That's interesting. I, I never knew that. So yep. uh, that's pretty cool. I got to throw that on the next email. Uh, that along with the Long Island, I totally uh, passed right by those. And yep. um, very, very cool. But um, And then again, we'll show you the actual uh, paint job of the Ingersoll uh, Rand. And that's the red, white, blue. Right. Pretty cool looking uh, engine. Yep. And uh, the P2 box cab. Yeah, back uh, again, New York Central, the cigar ban and, and the lightning stripe, but also, you know, take note of the Cleveland Union Terminal. Last time we made yeah. this engine originally, everybody was asking, why didn't you make the Cleveland Union Terminal? Because that was one of the most popular ones. Well, the reason was is because the roof, it's only one road name and it has different pentagraphs on the roof. You'll notice that they're... Right more GG1 style pentagraphs than the small pentagraphs that were used just to, to uh, get through the stations. Um, so uh, we're, we're modifying the tooling uh, to put those pentagraphs up there and build new tools uh, for the, the center section. Uh, so it's something that we didn't do before because we didn't think there would be enough sales. But again, these small uh, railroads up in the Cleveland, uh, Ohio region that has become very strong for us. And so we decided to go ahead and put the money in the tooling and, and make that engine. So that's for you, Cleveland guys. If you want more Ohio stuff, Cleveland stuff, <laughs> you, you, you Yep, you gotta you gotta put put your money where your mouth is. That's and, right. Uh, that, that's right. Buy, buy all the Cleveland, Ohio stuff, and uh, that's actually a pretty cool, uh, unique engine. And a lot of guys from our train store who who help us out um, are truly train guys. And they they noticed the panograph right away. And they right. were like, oh, wow, look at that. So they were excited. All right. And this Next is probably, page is your dad's favorite yeah. engine? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is the, the coolest engine. And yep. if, you, if you don't, like, really look at it closely, you'll just pass by and not even realize what it is. But 
That's a that's a bald eagle. <laughs> it's a screaming eagle. That's what they call it. The screaming yeah, yeah. eagle. So Very they cool. you know, come screaming by Illinois Central uh, uh, Golf. That's uh, again the the screaming eagle. Again, a lot of color. Even the Burlington Northern with the plates on the side. The uh, 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 you know 1990, a safe year in the making. Uh, that kind of th that kind of stuff. Uh, the uh, actually that CP rail engine up there, that's the uh, cab number for the circus train up in uh, Canada. A lot of people don't know that, but I guess if you into the Canadian yeah. rail system, that that engine there is, is uh, uh, you'll see the circus caboose in the back. Um, you know, that's that's something they ran up there. Yep. And uh, the BN 1990 is safe here. Very nice. Right. Right, so a lot of color. The boxcar scheme in the CSX. CSX is always popular. They got that new boxcar logo, uh, which we got that on the uh, GP38-2 now. And this is the picture of the actual train of that screaming eagle. And right. I, I can't believe no one's done that before. Yeah, it's you know your dad when we were at York. That's the first thing he he noticed. And uh, yeah, I, when I saw that, I was surprised. I was really surprised. <laughs> a lot of people, Weaver and and Lionel and a lot of people have made the, the GP38 and it's probably because it's Illinois Golf Central. And so just yeah. by the railroad, you're, you you don't search that out. But, you know, you go to these websites and you're searching GP38. And I'm looking now, instead of looking for particular railroads, I'm looking at, you know, I'm looking for color. I'm looking, for, you know, right. you Google GP38-2 and see a whole lot. And then ones that are real colorful, they get my eye real quick. And that one did. Very nice. And we got some F3s in Premier and uh, C CN, CNO, uh, Rio Grande. Right. And, you know, right now, it, it, it's amazing. I was looking at the numbers coming in for the catalog right now. The Grand Trunk is the most popular, um, which oh. is, to me, the, the Rio Grande, that's a, such a, the ski train, that's such a beautiful train with the passenger cars to go with that, uh, oh. that going across the land. It's, just, it's really beautiful. I think you have the picture of the real one there. Uh, that's just a beautiful train. But uh, uh, Grand Trunk is something that's very popular up in the Michigan area. Uh, Canada, up that area, is very popular for us. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, so it does, doesn't surprise me, but that is uh, leading it. Yep, and that uh, this is that picture of that Rio Grande um, that Mikey uh, likes to, uh, I guess, look for colors, signs, sure. and um, parts. That was uh, Mike when he did. That's his speed train. <laughs> All right. And uh, we've got some now to the freight cars. Who's your line, Mana? Yeah. yeah, that's that's uh, you know becoming that Midwest area, uh, like I say, Ohio, Indiana, a lot of a lot of train customers in there. So we threw that in there, Missouri Pacific again, RFNP. You know, you'd be surprised, but a lot of, you know, the Virginia train collectors, I go down there and speak down there every couple of years uh, down in Richmond and uh, a big, big group of guys and, and RF&P is very popular down there. So that's going to be very popular for those guys. Uh, so there's something for everybody in here, you know, going through there, all my trips around the country, listening to the people, seeing groups, clubs. So there's something really for everybody here. And uh, let's let's talk about this one on page 112. Um, what exactly does this do, Mike? Okay, that's the uh, the the Canadian Pacific. Uh, we we did the uh, Canadian Pacific uh, Christmas Express, which the, which was the AC 4400 and Premier with the box cars with the lights on it and the passenger cars. That it's a real train that runs every year, and this is the stage car and. We didn't come out with it initially because we didn't have a obviously a stage platform. So there's the car, and you'll see the little holes there. And what happens is 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 they go from town to town, and that's where the singers is the stage that they do the Christmas carol. So they drop that stage door. It's it covers up where the excuse me the boxcar doors are, and they use the boxcars for changing their outfits. And it drops down, and it'll come with little pegs that you can drop down and sit the pegs in those holes and you can get yourself a, a little band of people and and Christmas carols and, and emulate what's going on up in uh, Canada every year for the holiday train. Uh, wow. So you get that. So that's a great add on. It's got the lights on it. 
uh, the stage works, got little hooks there, uh, little hinges that'll drop down. So it's, it's pretty cool. And you can, uh, uh, like I say, get the figures and, and, and create yourself a Christmas train. Yeah, and that's definitely one of those trains that you're going to flip through the catalog and you don't really realize what exactly it does. And, and the CP, I, I believe the premier engine yours is already sold out, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, and, I, and I know all the cars are. The cars right. came, the engines is, is they're coming in in about a week. And yep. uh, so it it is very popular. You know, when, yep. you, when, when people see them with those lights on right after York, when a lot of people get to see all those buildings and cars, all the flat cars with the Christmas trees are now gone. Any, yeah. Mostly anything that comes in with lights on it is gone. Yep, yep. And actually, today, Mike, we actually did another video. We have a whole train line on all the flat cars with the Christmas trees. And uh, we'll have a video up shortly just so people can see it because it's, it's awesome. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's neat. And you're going to see a lot more stuff coming next year. Uh, you know, that's that's been very, very popular. And then you'll see those 36 foot reefer cars again, lots of colors, lots of good areas, some, you know, uh, soups and foods and milk. And you know, so not just beer, but we have it all. <laughs> more more reefers, CN Dino, uh, Mekko Bar. Right. Uh, the, the Canadian news print car. Yep. A lot of color, again, yep. uh, spread out amongst the, the uh, around the country, something for everybody. There's not, you know, every car is not for everybody, but there's yep. something. We try to make something for every little area, so there's something in the catalog that they want. And over the 8,000-gallon tanks, you got the, the no fucking Southern for the, uh, uh, the, the veterans uh, yep. train. You can add that on. Very nice, and uh, everybody has pretty much the engine by now uh if right. you haven't you can still pick them up but um you know, the freight cars you could always add on what did I do there Thirty-three thousand uh gallon tank cars yeah, yeah the exxon again uh something we've done a lot of the older uh so and and the, the older uh, gas companies, now you got Exxon in there. That's something that for that modern car. Uh, again, a lot of gas, a lot of gas going on in this country. So we got United and Delta. And uh, so, uh, you know, there's, again, color. You got the, the uh, safety clean with the yellow, something on the layout, mix it in with the train. You got a big, colorful train. It's something that's very eye-catching. You're noticing it and you keep watching it as it goes around those 100 ton hoppers again just imagine all those cars in the same line uh just so yeah. many different colors and 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 companies and and uh you know all about america very cool very nice and a little canada yeah <laughs> <laughs> with those hundred tons uh, there you go and now we got some hoppers um uh, a, lot, a lot of different colors, a lot of different hoppers, um, Maryland, yeah. Landmark. Um, this is interesting, a pink and uh, white sugar company. Yeah, yeah. Actually Hawaiian. Huh. You got, uh, you got uh, Peabody Coal. Coal's coming back in this country, so uh, Peabody's a big, big company in that. Very nice. Um, three base center flow hoppers, imported salt, coal. Domino Sugar, all names we know of. Yep. Uh, Baroxo. Again, a lot of uh, colors. Blue, yep. yellow. Uh, some flat cars. Uh, Husky, Husky stacks. stacks are very popular. The DHL, uh, the CSX delivering service. I mean, there's just a lot of neat colors. Again, you line all those up in a row. And when you see a train coming by with 100 cars, you see so many container cars and all the different types of containers and and uh, right there and, and on that page you're you got a lot of colors a lot of companies in there yep and shout out to james Wright. hello james hey james got some good youtube channels if you're looking for some reviews um auxiliary water tenders yeah, notice on the uh, auxiliary rod to the top left one, which is the uh, American Freedom one. That's when they repainted it right after 9-11. They repainted the GS4, and uh, it had the Burlington uh, BNSF 
uh, uh, logo on it, and uh, they put that uh, water tender "Let's Roll" in commemorative to to uh, the Flight 93. Uh, so that, that's on there, um, which is a, a pretty cool one. And here's the actual picture. So a lot of people already have the American Freedom Train, so this is great tender to end it on. Right. And you see the let's roll there. Yep. And uh, we got some flats with pipes, different colors yep. again. Yep. Now again, I know. Yeah, they got the, the, the uh, red pipes, and, you know, so those are going to be for your electric, and you got the uh, green pipes. And so, again, you'll start seeing us, instead of just all, you know, shiny silver pipes, you're going to get the, the different colors, and so that uh, you can have uh, different trains for different uh, material going through them. And uh, on to the next, the flat car with the trailers, you got the GE hybrid. Um, this is going to be huge because everybody has your engine with the lights. Right, we right. sold a ton of them, and it's, it's been like the best seller in O-Scale. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> and, question. And, and we could still sell more. <laughs> yeah, and we're making them again in HO, and by yeah. far, even over the 1943, those, those uh, GEVO, uh engines are just uh, so popular you know i yep. you wonder where the end is yep dhl uh tropical um got some, roadway was another you know you see yep. those out there all the time yep uh marisk yep uh, ned lloyd yep nice colors lloyd. different colors right in the u.s army that's what that is oh very nice i didn't even notice that yeah, I'm flipping by too quick. Portable water only. Very cool. And that should go nicely with those flats with the Sherman tanks. Yep, yep. Lots of different engines. Yep. And then uh, these are pretty nice. The they sold car really. The tank car and 20 yeah. container. As soon as they came in, we made them last year. As soon as they came in, they were bang on. So I don't know where the... The market really is on those. I know it's a lot more than we did last time. They were they were one of the hottest things in the catalog. So, uh, you know, we made some extras, and as soon as uh, they came in, they were gone. So here's some more of them, and there's a lot of different things and plates we can put on the sides of them. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of yep. different ones to do. Very nice BNSF, uh, UP, NS, all the main uh, main guys. Yeah, and then you got the flat with the, uh, again, Sherman tanks, two Sherman tanks, and uh, also the Dodge ambulances. Uh, that's, you know, one of the most popular vehicles in the in World War II. You got those in there. And it's a really nice detailed uh, model. Very nice. Nice cars. The cars are beautiful. Yep, all die cast. These are some spine cars. And again, with the containers and the... Uh, right, again, different company. Tank. Right. And nice. same with the uh, DHLs. They're beautiful. Yep. Very nice. Uh, gondolas with scale tracks. Right. You know, a lot of people don't realize it, but even the ones with the crossings and the switches, I was I was at a, a train shop in Maryland one time and looked out the window, and here comes this train with uh, big switches <laughs> on it. That's what gave me the idea of, you know, and, you know, they to, to fix uh, – uh, different uh, sections of track. They bring the tracks out there and the gondolas and have a crane out there. A maintenance away train is going to be great for that. Uh, and again, we have them with crossings and switches and, and that it, they are actually all prototypical. Very nice. And uh, some of these cabooses now are going to sell out real quick. The Shawmont line, that, that actually matches that engine we talked about earlier. Yeah. Um, and now the, the, I guess, Ohio... Right, the Akron, Canton, Youngstown. Yep. Again, we got engines for those. That's going to be very popular up in the Ohio area. Also, the Union Pacific. Anything you put the yep. flag on is always popular. Yep, you can match your uh, your big boys with those, and uh, any engine look right. nice with that. And uh, even more cabooses that are going to be home runs. Uh, another UP with the the uh, nice logo and the American flag. And then this is circus car. Yeah, that's the uh, Wisconsin Natural Treasure, the circus parade, and that that CP engine, that GP thirty eight two that's in there. That's right. There's a if you Google it, uh, 
this Wisconsin National Treasure, you'll see that caboose with that engine uh, up in Wisconsin running. So those those two pair up really well. The Union Railroad's a very popular one up in Pittsburgh. That's a uh, it's going to be in the Pittsburgh area. That's going to be very popular caboose. Uh, the Southern Pacific. There's a uh, a museum out in Paradise Valley that has a Southern Pacific colored caboose like that. So uh, there's, again, something East Coast, West Coast, um, uh, Midwest and Wisconsin, and it's very colorful and a lot of people are in the circus stuff. That's great, yep. uh, great uh, caboose for that. And then on the other page with the uh, wide vision, the uh, uh, Katy with the American flag, the U.S. Army and the CSX, you know, CSX is always popular with all those safety logos yep. and, and placards that's that they've been good and ttx is always good i mean it's just yep. something that with so many flat cars out there uh, right so those four cabooses are all home runs yeah yeah it's amazing we, we, we're going like an hour and a half and we're still not done with the yoga stuff <laughs> almost <laughs> all right and these are your your passenger cars with the lights and right. it, the photographs don't do it justice, Mike. I mean, uh, we have uh, the box cars or had them uh, up and running. We had to take them off the layout because they sold so quick. But um, it's just amazing what it looks yeah. like when you and actually turn the lights out. Layout. Turn the yeah. lights out, and it's, it is really beautiful. Just watch the video yeah. of the real one, and you get an idea. But uh, no, they're they're. Those lights are a, a showstopper, no question about it. And having something like that in your Christmas garden under your tree, wow. Yeah, for Don't sure. Get that. And, and the kids will go crazy for it because uh, with the lights all lit up, it looks really nice. All I, I would tell you is don't handle the lights. You know, those, <laughs> lights, those lights are miniature LEDs. And the wires on them are like hairs because to get them that small and prototypical and they're and they're soldered together with a, a laser. So if you grab it by those lights, it's like pulling a hair off of uh, it, it, it. You know, the breaking the wire is not difficult. So anybody gets those cars, be very careful how you handle it. When you're talking about uh, the kids will love them. They grab that train like I grabbed my dad's train. <laughs> uh, the lights are going out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful. And uh you use those little um, uh, those little MTH things. <laughs> well, you just pick it up by the other parts of the car. You know, you can pick it yep. up by the parts of the side of the car, but don't don't handle it on the lights. Yep. And then we got some more passenger cars right, to match the, uh, your engines. And the Reading Northern, that's an actual car that goes. It, they're running excursions with that uh, steam engines being restored up at the top of the page, uh, the full length Vista Dome. Uh, you'll notice it also on the next page at the bottom uh, of the uh, page are the rest of the uh, Reading and Northern cars. Those are actually in the excursion trains, the names of those cars. And another one I'd point out is that Conrail uh, uh, the police car, uh, police training car. That's yep. very popular. We're getting a lot of orders on that. The, the, the Philadelphia and Reading, that's in the Stroudsburg Railroad Museum. So what we're doing is we're going around and getting these cars that are in museums or Private cars that are very popular, um, and and the, the, like the police training car, those kinds of cars, and uh, you know, adding them into the catalog so people can have one of those uh, cars that they saw in the museum. Yep. And uh, Larry, you got a, a good idea on the RS1 Long Island Railroad uh, uh, in the titchy colors. We'll definitely uh, recommend that. And um, there's a lot of Long Island in this book. And you got to buy all that first, and that'll keep the Long Islands coming. There you go. Exactly. And we'll keep on selling them for you, Mike. <laughs> and uh, you got a lot of European trains. Um, we did have a lot of requests for HO. I'm not sure. I know it's already 8 o'clock. It's getting late. Yeah. Um, it's up to you if you want to uh, tackle HO for a quick. Yeah, you can go into the, you know, the, the HO if you want. We got a new catalog of that. Um, the European stuff, if you're into European uh, stuff, there's a lot of the, the 140. I'm, I'm headed over to France now to do a, a French train show. That'll be interesting. And uh, there's French 141s in there, Orient cars, uh, OCM cars. So there's a lot of French stuff. French is the, is the most popular market we have in Europe uh, right now. So. And uh, so the HO, you just came out with this catalog, um, a lot of new stuff. And some of them we've been taking huge numbers um the big boys they've come out um 
I don't believe this set has come out no, yet. No, this set hadn't come out. We're still waiting for the cars, which are supposed to be in the next container. So in, in the next couple of weeks, we'll, we'll ship that out. But uh, they're pretty much, I think they're pretty much sold out, except the uh, we have the, a few weathered engines left uh, and, the, and uh, yet to deliver those sets. Very nice. Sold a lot of these, the cab forwards. Uh, this paint scheme already sold out. Yeah, that's already sold out. The the uh, uh, the gray one. Gray and red. Yep. Yeah, gray and red. That's gone. Yeah, I'm not sure if we, we still have any. If I do, it may be like one or two pieces. So make sure you order them. But you get all the other uh, cab forward numbers. Very nice, large paint uh, numbers. The Clash J was a home run. Right, and you'll see the the Spirit of Roanoke on the uh, the one that they're, they're the 611 that uh, they're running the excursions now. It's called the Spirit of Roanoke, and we actually printed out under the cab window as it is. Uh, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Yep, and you got the uh, video also. So, if you're looking for uh, a video of this engine, Mike's got it on his uh, link on his uh, catalog, which is great. Yep. That's the breakdown. Uh, Allegheny, where right. we we actually have these at a great price. It's a great engine. Um, You'll a see lot of engine. Two two engines are existing. One in the uh, B&O Railroad Museum, and also the one up in uh, the Henry Ford Museum. So those are engines that actually are still out there. Um, great engine. There's a video on that with the the history of the uh, of that engine. So uh, again, all die kit. And Mike, uh, James Wright calls the Class J whistle the best whistle in the industry. <laughs> well, actually, actually, that's a recording of the actual whistle. So we, they, you know, we got a chance when they were uh, running that before to uh, go down there and record it. Very cool. All right. And uh, H10s and classic Long Island, right. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Got Great the engines. Uh, Madison cars. Uh, in the back to go with those, it was a yep. popular passenger engine. K4s, beautiful Same. engines. Another popular passenger engine. You know, it's always one of the most popular steam engines uh, ever built, I think, in uh, in in model trains. Huh. Interesting. And the these European engines actually did very well for us. Beautiful engines. Yeah. Now there's a, one in Munich, the uh, that the blue one. Uh, it was a green one, and Marklin asked them. It was green and in the museum, and I think it's back to green now. But uh, they had asked them one time, "Look, we need another, uh, you know, another paint scheme to do. Uh, how about we paint the thing blue? We'll pay to paint it blue." So they paid to paint it blue, and so it actually became blue, and they ran little excursions with it. So that's where that came from. It you know it wasn't running blue in, on the real railroads. Uh, but the VR 18s yeah, are nice. Yeah, uh, common uh, passenger engines back in the, the day. And All they will run on two rail. Yeah, and uh, they, right, they run on two rail worth. We have three rail versions or two rail versions. And uh, the, those uh, lamps in the front, LED lamps, all light up. Very nice. Um, the Dash 944 CWs. Yep, they're they're all you know the very popular engine. Santa Fe War Bonnet uh, has the gull wing uh, detail. All of the uh, details are for each road name are road name specific. So the, even the doors on the side, every detail that is you know it's they're prototypical. So the tool can make uh, six different bodies. Very nice. A lot of different uh, dash nines, and now for the. Uh, this was probably one of the best, if not the best selling engine in HO. Um, we sold hundreds of these. It was like crazy. Um, just unbelievable. It's the GE Evolution with the charging lights. No one's ever done this before in HO. Yeah, it, it is really neat. You know, the, the uh, little miniature LEDs up under there. Um, 
you know, the, the PCB is a little flexible PCB, which is, uh, as far as technology wise, you'll find now in the cell phone industry has brought that. So it's very miniaturized. So we could uh, get that under there. But uh, if you watch that uh, going, you don't even have to be at, at the, with the lights out, with the lights on, you can see that thing going. And, and the neat thing about it is, you know, we went up to GE, they gave us the timing of those lights. So when the engine is running, the lights from the center go out. So, you know, the, from the center, the lights chase right and left. And then when it's sitting still, they both chase inwards towards the center. And, and inwards means it's charging. And when it's running, it's dissipating. And that engine did that. Uh, to show that it was charging or dissipating, and then they brought it around the country, uh, showing the the new technology, the battery technology uh, that that uh, this diesel had. Very nice. And some more ES forty fours, BNSF, Florida East Coast. This is the uh, uh, five thousand G evolution that should do very popular. Yeah, that, that, that the numbers are really good on that one. And then uh, going into Christmas and Halloween, I'm not sure if these came out yet. Uh, I don't believe so. For, no, they uh, are, they come out, they're coming out the first of next year. But, you know, it just goes to show you, even in HO, which most of the HO guys, very prototypical. You know, some people said, I, they will never sell in Halloween or Christmas. The Halloween and Christmas are outselling all the road names except the wow. Evolution. You know, so that's those, unbelievable. <laughs> the evolution number one, Christmas number two, Halloween number three, Union Pacific number four uh, is where they're coming in right now as far as the orders go. So even HO guys like having fun. Yep, exactly. And again, these have the charging lights. Uh, I'm assuming, Mike, like the O scale, right. uh, this will be orange flashing light and this will be like a red and green. That's correct. Um, very Under nice, though. Red, red on the Christmas and orange on the uh, Halloween. Gosh, oh, very nice. And then you got the uh, NS Heritage units. We got some. Uh, the other thing with those engines, they got pretty neat sound files in them. You know, the Halloween one there, the, the train is stopped in a graveyard and the, the guy wants to get out of there because he's afraid. So <laughs> it, it, it's pretty cool. It's fun to, fun to listen to. Yep, yep, very nice. And uh, We'll be getting these in, and we're taking pre-orders on the Christmas and Halloween engines. The NS uh, Heritage units, I believe, uh, maybe you have, have those in stock already? Yeah, you have those in stock. Yep. Uh, all different pain schemes. And actually, I think we have some great pricing on some of these, so check our website, trainworld.com. Full engines. FAFBs dash ones. And then, Mike, let's talk about this. This is the, the GP38-2 first responders. Uh, I have so many back orders on these. A lot of people waiting for them. Uh, do you know when they're going to be coming out? Yeah, they're, they're, you know, when we put all this other stuff in there, it kind of slowed down the, the production schedule and number of boards we had and had to order more parts for the boards. And electronic parts right now are very uh, – uh, you know, the economy is picking up. There's no question about it. We're seeing it in, in the tr the train sales this year have been far exceeding the uh, uh, sales for the last three years. So, um, but anyway, electronic parts, it's a, you know, a long lead time type of thing. So we're getting those in now. It's going to be the first quarter. They're all going to start coming in at once, once we have the boards. It's not a matter of uh, the bodies and the, the trucks and all the other stuff. Uh, it's it's uh, dependent on electronics. But yeah, that's very popular. Uh, great priced engine. Uh, yeah. prototypical uh, engine, and uh, you'll see other uh, road names in there for the GP30. Nice. Yep, CN, CSX. Lit marker lights. Uh, mm. Long Island. We still may have a couple of units left on that. Uh, New York and Atlantic. We really don't have that many left, so um, make sure you, you check our website and um, buy it before they're gone. Yeah, no, those are great. A sound engine at those price points is it, it's yeah. a it's a great engine. And like I say, lit marker lights, number boards, um, Katie diecast uh, whisker couplers, great value. Yep. And uh, flipping through, we got the new subways. 
Right. In and, some ways, you got the uh, you know, the work train down there. That's that's leading the, in the orders uh, right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, and then, then the Redbirds. Uh, so you know those are those are again I talked about it a little bit before about the uh, you can make it uh, you change the lights for the uh, for the local and the the um, uh, what is it the local and the uh, uh, express express right express yeah. you can change the lights so if you're going to run it that way you can have a northbound sound southbound sounds set. Uh, so there's a you know really detailed of the names of the stops the different stops for those for those uh, 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 the, you know uh, car numbers um, you know, it's 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 they're very detailed. Yep. Very nice. It's in there. And we we've been taking so many pre-orders on these subways. Obviously we're from New York, so um, yeah. we have a huge clientele that wants the subways, and these are always so popular. Well, the subways and, uh, are popular, as you know. You got a lot of customers who come in that work on the subway or just yep, ride yep. the subway, and they come there seeing the subway, and they're not in the model train. So subways is a great entry tool to get new people involved in our hobby, uh, particularly up at your area. I've seen it when I've done open houses up there. Yep. And um, some more more subways. The uh, we got green, different colors, red. R21s, R22s. Yeah. We only did the, yeah, so those are uh, different. Before we did the R17s, and, and now we got some new road names in the R17, but the R21s we didn't do before. Uh, they're different uh, windows on the end of the cars uh, and different paint schemes. So uh, that's something that we, when we built the tool, we built it for both ways. So they're all new. We haven't done those before. So all four of those sets are new. Very nice. And uh, some rolling stock. Yeah, bring back the flat, the flat cars. I, I don't see the page yet, but uh, the flat cars, we got those coming back. I, those were very popular. Uh, we got, again, pipes, uh, yep. you know, Different all the gas pipes. Pipes, the pipeline. So uh, we got uh, those cars, the hopper cars, uh, 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 the reefer cars. Again, color, color, color. Uh, so you see a lot of the same uh, paint schemes that you see in the O gauge. Uh, but again, uh, and then you got some of the uh, for for the veterans, uh, yeah, first responders, uh, engines. Uh, we got uh, cars, box cars for those. Yeah, these box cars are going to do very well. Yep. Um, first responders and veterans, honoring veterans in HO. I think you're the first one to do any kind of um, box car on these, so they're, they'll do very very well. And all of them have KD whisker die cast couplers. Very nice. And you're a passenger car for uh, the uh, NNW, which matches the 611. No Correct. one really has passenger cars for them or not to a great quality. So these, we've been taking tons of pre-orders on these. Um, just really nice passenger cars. Right. And the car names are, are the ones that are running with the excursion. Uh, for the for the 611 now. Very nice, and all different kinds of passenger cars. And when do you expect to have some of these passenger cars shipped out, Mike? Uh, the the um, uh, first got the diesels. The same guys building those, and the cars will come out shortly after. So you're talking about three or four months from now. We just got the catalog out and taking the orders. And once we get the, all the numbers fixed, then we'll uh, produce them. And uh, that should finally conclude tonight's session. And thank you, Mike, for uh, sticking with us so long. It's been like an hour and a half. So uh, I'm, I'm sure you're beat and tired. And we really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, hop on and uh, go through the catalog one by one. And there's so many surprises in there that you got to keep on looking back to make sure you catch everything. Um, but uh, you made two great catalogs each of scale and we're taking pre-orders at trainfield.com for all of your MTM products and uh, we apologize to everybody asking or can you make this make that um, I promise you we'll, we'll have some kind of session in the future we'll, we'll just pick Mike's brain and uh, do some recommendations if you want you could always email us and I'll forward it to him uh, send it to orders at trainworld.com and you can send a list of uh, your requests and I'll send it to Mike. 
and uh, hopefully it can happen. But as, as you heard today, he takes a lot of those requests personally, and um, he, he wants to hear from you. He, uh, he really wants to make the trains that you're requesting. So uh, that's great, Mike. And thank you so much, Mike. I really appreciate, do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the business. All right, no problem, and thank you guys. And again, you can get all your MTH products at trainworld.com. Thank you for the time, Mike. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Take care, everybody. Out all there. right, take take care, guys. Bye now.